any kind of books or fiction or movies or anything that they've done in the past about eating disorders, they tend to romanticize it. They, it, it it's clear that it's an illness and like, oh my gosh, how sad. Um, but it's still like this, like mm -hmm. waif like beautiful girl, mm -hmm. and it she's she's probably kind of like quirky and and spunky. Mm -hmm. um, and even though there's like the logical part of you sees that and you're like, oh man, look at her. Um, to somebody who's on the edge of an eating disorder or in recovery or actively involved, I. I don't know. I just think it could be so triggering. Like, are they going to recognize warning signs in a friend or in themselves? Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. I did read that Lily Collins, the actress, had to lose 22 pounds for the role, mm. which seems nuts. It's mm -hmm. like, I think, I'm like, well, that seems really counterproductive. Mm -hmm. um, like, good for you and you're working for your art, but she's also openly struggled with an eating disorder. So... Why on earth she agreed to do that, I don't know. My hope is that it sparks maybe dialogue and conversation, um, but my fear is that it won't. I think people will watch it, and then there's going to be some 13-year-old girl who watches it and is like, okay, so that's what I need to do.